Posting at the wrong time on YouTube could be the reason that you're not getting the reach that you want to on YouTube right now because if you post at the wrong time, the wrong people are gonna see your content, they're not gonna watch it all the way through, and then boom, YouTube's gonna stop pushing out your content because they think your content is crap. And the number one way that you could get around this is by adapting to the three best times to be posting on YouTube right now. In fact, this creator right here literally went from struggling to grow to getting over 300,000 subscribers and getting monetized so he can make a full-time living off of YouTube simply by changing the times that he was posting. And you could do the same exact thing so long as you make sure that you stick around for the last posting time because it is by far the most important. But first, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. And if you wanna change your life, you need to make sure that you see them. So the first time that you should be posting is from 3 to 4 p.m. Now you need to take something into consideration though before you just say, wow, I'm gonna go with that posting time. You need to make sure that the people that you're trying to reach are going to be on their phones at 3 to 4 p.m. If you're trying to reach some executive, 3 to 4 p.m. is probably a really bad time because they're probably in meetings. But if you're uploading Minecraft content or Fortnite content and you wanna be able to reach kids that just got off of school, 3 to 4 p.m. is going to be a great time to post. You need to take these things into consideration. In addition, you need to take times Zone differences into consideration. If you're in the UK trying to reach people in California or trying to just reach people in the US in general, you need to be doing a few things differently. One, you need to make sure that you're uploading when your ideal viewer is online, so it's going to be for their time zone, but more specifically, it's going to be easiest to reach people in another country if you're actually located in that country when you're uploading or if your channel was actually created in that country. Otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to influence people from a specific country if you're not posting from that country because YouTube is becoming more and more geo-focused. And if you can, one of the easiest ways for you to be able to figure out when your ideal audience is actually online is coming into your analytics. You wanna come into your YouTube studio, come into analytics right here, come into audience, and then you want to scroll down right here, and this is gonna show you when your viewers are on YouTube. Now, there are a few things you wanna actually take into consideration here. One, where this is bright purple right here, it's going to say very many viewers are online. You wanna make sure that you're posting in the first time slot that says this. So it also says it at 2 p.m., but ideally, I wanna be uploading at 11 a.m. because that's actually going to be the first hour. Now you'll see for other days, this changes a little bit. For example, on Saturday, 12 p.m. is going to be the first hour. But you also want to make sure that you're taking into consideration is that if there are days that skew drastically different, you might want to just try to upload an hour beforehand or on the typical best time for you to upload. Like these days right here, Tuesday to Friday, don't actually show me a bright purple time when very many of my viewers are online. So I'm just going to post at 11 a.m. on those days. And essentially, the reason that that's happening is you uploaded videos on these days recently that didn't do really well. So YouTube thinks that your ideal audience isn't online on those days, but in reality, they probably are online. You just didn't upload a video that did really well at that time. Like if I look at my content, the majority of my views when I come into content, come down here, come from YouTube search. So my audience is always online. They're always searching for things. But if I don't upload a video that gets a lot of views from browse features immediately, well, guess what? YouTube is gonna think that it's a bad time for me to post, but you should definitely be coming in here and checking this. If you can't see this, I'm gonna share with you in just a little bit a way that you can actually figure out when your viewers are online for your specific audience without having to use this dashboard right here. But first, we need to cover the second best time slot for you to be posting, which is gonna be from 7 to 8 p.m. Now, I do wanna emphasize, this time slot works the best for shorts. This doesn't really work that well for long-form content, but for shorts, this is definitely one of the best times that you could actually be uploading, and I strongly recommend that you test it out because a lot of creators that upload YouTube shorts will then check their phone over and over again to see how the post did. But you might be doing this with long-form content too, but I wouldn't suggest that you do that because 99% of your views are gonna come after the first 24-hour period. All you wanna be focused focus on in the first 24 hours is that your content is actually getting good engagement. And the easiest way for you to be able to manipulate this is by posting at the right time. So getting out a short at 7 to 8 p.m. seems to really get that short pushed at night because not a lot of people are uploading at that time. So it spams the shorts feed with things that are actually going to work or you show up on browse features for people that have watched your content before in the past. Because if you don't know how the YouTube algorithm actually works, the way that it works is if somebody interacts with your piece of content, the next time they come onto YouTube, they're probably probably going to see another piece of content by you. So ideally what you want is people constantly interacting with your content and then your content getting shown to new people. And as a result of that, YouTube is going to push out your content so long as there's not a bunch of other supply of content out there, which is why the 7 to 8 p.m. time slot tends to work really, really well for shorts. 
Now, if you can't see the best time to post within your YouTube studio, then you need to make sure that you're using a tool like vidIQ. If you log into vidIQ and you link your YouTube account to it, you'll be able to scroll down right here and see the best time for you to post for your specific audience. You'll actually be able to come in here day by day and you'll be able to see the ideal time for you to post. So as you can see here, this is showing me it's about 9 a.m. So what you wanna do is make sure that you're using this if it doesn't show within your YouTube audience. But on top of that, you might wanna use this tool anyway because it offers a bunch of really cool things. For example, you could come over here and do keyword research for which keywords are good videos for you to actually create. And even if you don't rank for search, this is a really good way to actually go about things. For example, how to get free TikTok followers. This has a search volume of 22,000 a month. And I wouldn't read this as being only a search volume. I would read this as being a proxy for how many people are interested in that. For example, how to get free TikTok followers. More people are interested in that than how to grow TikTok followers. So if I were to make a title with how to get free TikTok followers versus how to grow TikTok followers, I could potentially get seven times more views because about seven times more people are interested in this. In addition, you can spy on your competition using this tool. You'll be able to set up all these different things so that you could go through your competition and see what their top videos are. You could sort by views, you could sort by views per hour, or you could even sort by date published. And essentially, I could do this for this week, this month, all time, and this is going to allow me to see which which one of my competitors' videos are doing really good so that I could create a video on that same exact topic. And then one other feature that is really, really cool here is this ideas tab. It literally gives you a bunch of personalized ideas based off of what's working on your own channel, what's working for competitors, and what's working for other people on YouTube, and then tying that into your niche. And my favorite part when it comes to vidIQ is that you could get started today for just $1 for the next 30 days. If you wanna sign up, go to the pinned comment below right now and get registered because here's the deal. If you wanna get more views or more subscribers on YouTube, you need to make sure that you're using a tool like this because if you're not, your competitors are and that's why they're getting more views and more subscribers than you because they know what your guys' audience is actually interested in and you need to make sure that you're using tools like this to stay one step ahead of the competition. If not, they're gonna crush you. Which brings me to the last and best time that you should be posting, which is going to be 11 a.m. The reason you wanna be posting at 11 a.m. is because it's when a lot of people are on YouTube. I know, people are at work. People are at school, people are doing other things, but guess what? Mainly they're all on YouTube. I mean, think about it. I'm sure that you watch YouTube at work or you've watched YouTube at school, which is exactly why you should be uploading at 11 a.m. Now on top of that, you need to understand something. Just posting at the right time on YouTube isn't enough. You need to use the right titles. You need to use the right hashtags. You need to be creating your content in the right format. And I personally wanna help that with you. In fact, I wanna look at your channel and tell you everything I would do differently to skyrocket your reach, just like this creator that I helped gain over 300,000 subscribers in just a few months and like I said, they were able to get monetized on YouTube and make a full-time living in just a few months of working together and I think the same thing can happen for you. If that sounds interesting, well please, keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever and there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video and the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers and the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is 1,000 subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back, zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, Go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.